In the vast expanse of the universe where stars are born and galaxies dance in the endless ballet of cosmic events, there lies a power so profound yet so simple, it can transform lives with the mere act of being harnessed. This power, omnipresent yet often overlooked, is the art of asking. It is the foundational principle upon which the universe operates, a principle that guides the flow of energy, desires, and manifestations. It is the first step in a journey of a thousand miles, a journey toward self-discovery, empowerment, and fulfillment. The concept of asking the universe may seem abstract or even mystical to some, rooted in ancient philosophies and spiritual practices. Yet, it is as natural as breathing. Every moment of every day, whether consciously or unconsciously, we are in constant communication with the universe. Every thought, every desire, and every silent wish is a message sent out into the ether, a call to the infinite possibilities that reside within the cosmos. But how does one truly ask the universe? How do we ensure that our calls are heard amidst the cacophony of desires and dreams that fill the ether? This is the art that we will explore. The art of asking with intention, clarity, and openness. The first step in mastering this art is to understand the language of the universe. This language is not spoken in words, but in vibrations, emotions, and intentions. It is a universal language that transcends borders, cultures, and dimensions. To speak this language, one must first learn to listen, to tune into the frequency of the universe, to align oneself with the vibrations of love, gratitude, and abundance. As we embark on this journey, we will explore the principles that govern the art of asking. These principles are not merely guidelines, but are the very fabric of the universe, the laws that govern the flow of energy and manifestations. They include the law of attraction, the principle of clarity, the power of gratitude, and the importance of release. The law of attraction, perhaps the most well-known of these principles, states that like attracts like. It is the magnetic power of the universe that draws similar energies together. Thus, when we ask the universe for what we desire, we must do so with a heart full of the very essence of our request. If we seek love, we must radiate love. If we desire abundance, we must feel abundant. Clarity is the compass that guides our requests. The universe, in all its infinite wisdom, responds to clarity of thought and purpose. A vague desire sends a fuzzy message, making it difficult for the universe to respond. Therefore, we must be clear about what we want, visualizing it in as much detail as possible, making it vivid in our minds and hearts. Gratitude is the frequency that resonates with abundance. By expressing gratitude for what we already have, we open ourselves to receive more. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, creating a space of abundance that attracts further blessings. Lastly, the importance of release. Once we have asked, we must let go, trusting that the universe will respond in the best way at the best time. This act of release is an act of faith, a surrender to the flow of the universe a belief that what is meant for us will come to us. As we journey through these chapters, we will delve deeper into these principles, exploring their nuances and learning how to apply them in our lives. We will discover that the art of asking is not merely a technique, but a way of living, a path to a more fulfilling and empowered life. This journey is not just about receiving what we ask for, it is about transformation. It is about becoming more in tune with ourselves, with the universe, and with the infinite potential that resides within us. It is about unlocking the doors to our desires, not through force, but through the gentle power of asking. So let us begin this journey with an open heart and a willing spirit, ready to explore the art of asking, ready to ask the universe to get everything we ever wanted, not just as a wish, but as a co-creator of our destiny. Welcome to the art of asking how to ask the universe to get everything. Embarking further into our exploration of the art of asking, we arrive at a critical juncture, the realm of belief and expectation. Here, the essence of what we hold to be true about ourselves and the universe profoundly influences the manifestation of our desires. It is not enough to simply ask. We must also believe in the possibility of receiving and expect that the universe will deliver in abundance. Believing in the Possibility
The foundation of belief lies in the conviction that our desires are not only possible, but are already on their way to becoming reality. This belief is not rooted in naive optimism, but in a deep understanding of the universe's principles and our co-creative power within it. The universe is infinitely abundant, capable of manifesting an endless variety of outcomes. When we truly believe that our desires are within the realm of possibility, we align our vibrational energy with the frequency of manifestation. The Role of Expectation Expectation is the bridge between asking and receiving. It is an active state of readiness, a confident anticipation that what we have asked for is coming to us. Expectation energizes our desires, giving them momentum and direction. However, it is crucial to cultivate a positive expectation, free from doubt and fear. Negative expectations can act as barriers, repelling our desires and creating resistance in the flow of universal energy. Overcoming Doubts and Fears Doubts and fears are natural human emotions, but they can hinder the manifestation process if left unchecked. Overcoming them requires conscious effort, acknowledging their presence, understanding their origin, and gently guiding our thoughts back to a state of belief and positivity. Techniques such as affirmations, meditation, and journaling can aid in this process, helping to reprogram our subconscious mind towards belief and expectation. The Significance of Visualization Revisited visualization, as mentioned in the previous chapter, plays a pivotal role in both belief and expectation. By repeatedly visualizing our desires as already fulfilled, we strengthen our belief in their inevitability and nurture our expectation of their manifestation. This mental rehearsal not only aligns our vibrational energy with our desires, but also reinforces our emotional and psychological readiness to receive. Living as if a powerful practice in the art of asking is to live as if our desires have already been fulfilled. This means adopting the mindset, emotions, and even actions that align with our expected outcomes. By embodying the energy of our desires, we send a clear, consistent message to the universe, reinforcing our belief and expectation. This practice can transform our daily lives, turning every moment into an affirmation of our co-creative power. Trusting the universe's timing. An essential aspect of belief and expectation is trusting in the universe's timing. While we may have a clear vision of what we desire, the universe understands the perfect timing for its manifestation, considering the broader tapestry of our lives and the lessons we need to learn. This trust alleviates anxiety and impatience, allowing us to remain in a state of positive expectation even when immediate results are not visible. As we delve into the power of belief and expectation, we realize that they are not mere adjuncts to the act of asking, but are vital forces that shape the fabric of our reality. They determine the strength and clarity of the signals we send to the universe and our readiness to receive the abundance that is our birthright. As we venture further into the journey of mastering the art of asking, we encounter a principle so powerful yet so gentle that it has the capacity to transform our lives from the inside out. This principle is gratitude. Gratitude is not just a response to receiving. It is a state of being, a way of viewing the world that amplifies the abundance around us and opens our hearts to the infinite possibilities the universe has to offer. Gratitude as a frequency. Gratitude operates at a high vibrational frequency, akin to love and joy. When we immerse ourselves in gratitude, we align our energy with the universe's generative forces, making us magnets for more blessings. This frequency does not ignore the challenges and pains of life, but chooses to focus on abundance rather than lack, on possibilities rather than obstacles. Cultivating a Grateful Heart Cultivating a grateful heart begins with recognizing the abundance that already exists in our lives. This practice can start with the simple things, the warmth of the sun, the beauty of a flower, the smile of a friend. As we acknowledge these gifts, our perspective shifts, and we start to notice more and more to be grateful for. This shift is not just psychological, it's energetic, signaling to the universe our readiness to appreciate and receive even more. Gratitude in the face of challenges. One of the most profound applications of gratitude is its power to transform our experience of challenges. 
When faced with difficulties, adopting an attitude of gratitude helps us to see the lessons and opportunities hidden within these trials. This perspective doesn't minimize our pain, but allows us to navigate through it with grace, knowing that even in hardship, there is potential for growth and blessings. The Practice of Gratitude There are many ways to practice gratitude daily. Keeping a gratitude journal, where we list things we're grateful for each day, is a simple yet effective method. This practice not only helps us to recognize the abundance in our lives, but also serves as a reminder during times when we feel less fortunate. Another practice is gratitude meditation, focusing on the feeling of gratitude in our hearts, allowing it to fill us and radiate outwards. Gratitude and Manifestation Gratitude accelerates the manifestation process. By being grateful for what we have and what is on its way, we affirm our trust in the universe and its timing. This trust and positive expectation strengthen our vibrational alignment with our desires, drawing them closer to us with greater speed and ease. Living Gratefully Living gratefully means adopting an attitude of gratitude as our default state. It involves seeing the world through a lens of wonder and appreciation, recognizing that every moment and every experience, whether joyful or challenging, is a gift. This way of living not only enriches our own lives, but also touches the lives of those around us, creating ripples of positivity and abundance. The cycle of gratitude and giving gratitude completes its cycle when it leads to giving. The recognition of our own abundance naturally fosters a desire to share our blessings with others. This cycle of gratitude and giving creates a positive feedback loop, amplifying the flow of abundance in our lives and in the lives of those around us. As we embrace the transformative power of gratitude, we find ourselves not only asking the universe for blessings, but also becoming a blessing to the universe. Gratitude elevates our existence, transforming our relationship with the universe from one of asking to one of co-creating, where every thought, word, and action is an expression of appreciation and love. As we delve deeper into the art of mastering the art of asking, we encounter a profound and often challenging principle, the art of release. This principle requires us to let go of our attachments to the outcome of our desires and to trust in the universe's wisdom and timing. It is a testament to our faith in the cosmic process and a crucial step in the manifestation journey. Understanding release. Release is not about giving up on our dreams or desires. Rather, it's about surrendering our control over how and when they will manifest. It involves shifting our focus from a state of wanting to a state of trusting, understanding that once we've put our request out into the universe, our job is to allow the universe to work its magic. The challenge of letting go. For many, the act of letting go is easier said than done. We're often taught that to achieve our goals, we must cling tightly to our desires and exert control over every step of the process. However, in the realm of spiritual manifestation, the opposite is true. Letting go signifies our trust in the universe and our openness to receiving in ways that may surpass our expectations. Trusting the universe's wisdom. Trusting the universe's wisdom means acknowledging that there is a higher intelligence at work, one that sees the bigger picture of our lives. This intelligence knows the perfect timing and the most fitting ways for our desires to unfold. Trusting in this wisdom allows us to release our grip on the reins and embrace the journey with a sense of peace and anticipation. The role of detachment detachment is closely related to the principle of release. It is the emotional stance of being open to outcomes without being overly attached to any specific result. Detachment is not about indifference. Rather, it's about finding balance and maintaining a state of inner peace regardless of external circumstances. It's recognizing that our happiness and worth are not contingent on the manifestation of our desires. Practicing Release Practicing release can be cultivated through various spiritual practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and prayer. These practices help to quiet the mind, soothe the need for control, and foster a deeper connection to the universal flow. Through these moments of stillness, we can find the strength to let go and trust in the journey. Signs of Successful Release 
One of the signs that we have successfully released our desires into the universe is a sense of inner calm and trust. This doesn't mean we no longer desire the outcome, but rather that we're at peace with the process and confident in the universe's ability to deliver what is best for us. Another sign is the appearance of synchronicities and opportunities that align with our desires, indicating that the universe is indeed responding. The Magic of Release The magic of release lies in its paradoxical nature. Often it is only when we let go that what we desire begins to manifest. This is because release aligns us with the flow of the universe, removes resistance and opens us up to receiving. It teaches us that true power lies not in grasping tightly, but in letting go with trust and faith. As we master the art of release, we learn that it is an integral part of the dance of co-creation with the universe. It completes the cycle of asking, believing and receiving, teaching us the beauty of surrender and the strength found in trust. In the next chapter, we will explore how to live in alignment with our desires, ensuring that our thoughts, words, and actions support the manifestation of our dreams. Join me as we continue to journey through the art of asking, empowered by our newfound understanding of release and ready to embrace the abundance the universe has in store for us. Embarking further into the art of manifesting our deepest desires, we reach a crucial aspect of the process living in alignment with those desires. Alignment is the congruence between our inner vibrational state and the energy of our aspirations. It's about ensuring that our thoughts, emotions, actions, and environment resonate with what we wish to attract. This chapter delves into how alignment acts as a catalyst for manifestation, transforming our daily living into a powerful magnet for our dreams. The Essence of Alignment at its core, alignment is about harmony. It's the sweet spot where our inner world matches the frequency of our desires. When we live in alignment, we navigate our days with intention, making choices that reflect our goals and values. This congruence sends a clear, consistent signal to the universe about what we wish to manifest, amplifying our power to attract. Aligning Thoughts and Emotions Our thoughts and emotions are the language of the universe and aligning them with our desires is paramount. This involves cultivating positive thoughts and nurturing emotions that resonate with what we wish to attract, such as joy, love, and gratitude. By doing so, we elevate our vibrational frequency, making us more receptive to the universe's abundance. The role of actions in alignment. Alignment also requires that our actions reflect our aspirations. This means taking inspired steps towards our goals, however small they may seem. Whether it's dedicating time to develop a skill, engaging in activities that bring us joy, or making choices that enhance our well-being, each action is a building block in the manifestation process, creating an environment that reflects your desires. Our environment significantly impacts our vibrational state. To live in alignment, it's beneficial to create a space that mirrors our desires. This could involve surrounding ourselves with objects, images, and symbols that inspire us, or decluttering our space to make room for new energy. An environment that reflects our aspirations reinforces our intentions and nurtures our desires. Overcoming Misalignment Misalignment occurs when there's a disconnect between our desires and our daily living. It can manifest as negative thoughts, emotions out of sync with our aspirations, or actions that counter our goals. Recognizing and addressing these misalignments is crucial. Through mindfulness, reflection, and willingness to change, we can realign our path with our desires. The Power of Consistency Living in alignment is an ongoing process that requires consistency. It's about making daily choices that resonate with our aspirations and continuously realigning ourselves as we grow and evolve. Consistency in thought, emotion, and action strengthens our vibrational match with our desires, bringing them closer to manifestation. Trust and patience in alignment. Finally, living in alignment demands trust and patience. Trust in the universe's wisdom to deliver what's best for us and patience to allow our desires to manifest in divine timing. It's understanding that while we play an active role in co-creation, there's also a larger cosmic plan at play. As we incorporate the principle of living in alignment into our lives, 
we not only enhance our capacity to manifest our desires, but also embark on a journey of personal growth and transformation. Living in alignment brings our daily actions into harmony with our deepest aspirations, making life itself a vibrant and dynamic process of manifestation. As we journey further into the art of manifesting our desires, we encounter the subtle yet profound ways in which the universe communicates with us. Synchronicity and intuition serve as guideposts, signaling our alignment with the cosmic flow and providing direction as we navigate the path toward our dreams. Understanding and harnessing these tools can transform our journey, turning it into an interactive dialogue with the universe. Understanding Synchronicity Synchronicity is the occurrence of meaningful coincidences that seem to have no causal connection yet are deeply relevant to our lives. These moments are the universe's way of affirming that we are on the right path, offering guidance, or confirming that our desires are in the process of manifesting. Recognizing and interpreting synchronicities requires an open mind and an attentive heart, attuned to the nuances of the universe's language. The Role of Intuition Intuition, often described as a gut feeling or inner knowing, is another critical tool in our manifesting toolkit. It is the voice of our higher self, communicating through emotions, impressions, and a sense of knowing that transcends logical reasoning. Learning to trust and follow our intuition is akin to having an internal GPS that guides us toward our highest good and the fulfillment of our desires. Cultivating a relationship with synchronicity and intuition. Developing a keen awareness of synchronicity and honing our intuition requires practice and mindfulness. Keeping a journal of synchronistic events and intuitive insights can help us recognize patterns and messages from the universe. Meditation and mindfulness practices also enhance our sensitivity to these subtle cues, enabling us to tune in more deeply to the universe's guidance. Interpreting the signs. Interpreting the signs and messages from the universe is a personal and intuitive process. What resonates as a sign for one person may not hold the same meaning for another. Learning to trust our interpretation of these signs is crucial. They often come in forms that are uniquely significant to us, such as repeated numbers, words, symbols, or events that trigger a sense of recognition and relevance. Taking action on divine guidance. Recognizing synchronicities and following our intuition are not passive processes. They require action. When the universe provides a sign or our intuition nudges us in a certain direction, taking inspired action is a critical step in co-creating with the cosmos. This action, guided by trust and openness, propels us forward, aligning our energy with our desires. The dance of co-creation. Synchronicity and intuition are integral to the dance of co-creation with the universe. They are the ways in which the universe speaks to us, offering reassurance, guidance, and confirmation of our co-creative efforts. Engaging with these tools transforms our journey into an interactive experience where the universe actively participates in the realization of our dreams. Embracing the mystical at its heart, the journey of manifesting our desires is a mystical adventure, rich with signs, symbols, and messages from the universe. Embracing this aspect of the journey allows us to experience the magic and wonder of co-creation, where every step is guided by a deeper wisdom and every moment holds the potential for discovery. As we continue to explore the art of asking, enriched by the gifts of synchronicity and intuition, we open ourselves to a more profound dialogue with the universe. This dialogue, rooted in trust, awareness, and action, guides us toward the fulfillment of our deepest desires revealing the boundless possibilities that await when we align with the universe's flow. As we approach the culmination of our journey through the art of asking and manifesting our desires, we reach a pivotal moment, the realization of our manifestations. This chapter explores the process of embracing and integrating our newly manifested desires into our lives, recognizing this achievement not as a final destination, but as a step in the ongoing cycle of creation and growth. Acknowledging the Manifestation The first step in embracing our manifestations is to acknowledge and celebrate their arrival. It's important to recognize the significance of this moment, reflecting on the journey that led here, the intentions set, the belief held, the obstacles navigated, 
and the lessons learned. Celebrating our successes, big or small, reinforces our co-creative power and our partnership with the universe. The integration process. Once a desire has manifested, the process of integration begins. This involves making space in our lives for the new addition, whether it's a new relationship, career opportunity, personal achievement, or any other form of manifestation. Integration can require adjustments in our daily routines, beliefs, and perceptions. It's about aligning our internal and external worlds so that they are in harmony with our newly manifested reality. Navigating changes and challenges. The integration of a new manifestation can sometimes bring unexpected changes or challenges. These should not be viewed as obstacles, but as part of the natural process of growth and expansion. Facing these challenges with a mindset of learning and adaptability allows us to fully embrace the new aspects of our lives, understanding that each challenge is an opportunity for further development. The Ripple Effect of Manifestation Our manifestations have a ripple effect, influencing not just our own lives, but also those around us. Embracing our desires means recognizing and being mindful of this impact. It's about using our manifestations to contribute positively to our surroundings, whether through sharing our experiences, offering support, or inspiring others to pursue their own dreams. Continuous alignment and co-creation. Manifestation is not a one-time event, but a continuous cycle of desire, alignment, action, and realization. Embracing our manifested desires is, therefore, also about maintaining alignment with our core values and intentions as we evolve. This ongoing alignment ensures that we remain open and receptive to further manifestations, continuing the cycle of co-creation with the universe. Gratitude and giving back integral to embracing our manifestations is the practice of gratitude. Expressing gratitude for our achievements and the lessons along the way keeps us connected to the frequency of abundance. Additionally, giving back, whether through sharing our resources, knowledge, or time, enriches our experience of manifestation grounding it in a sense of purpose and interconnectedness. Preparing for the next cycle. Finally, as we integrate and embrace our current manifestations, we begin to set the stage for the next cycle of desires. This involves reflecting on our journey, understanding our evolving desires, and setting new intentions. Each cycle of manifestation offers deeper insights into our true selves and our relationship with the universe, opening new pathways for growth and fulfillment. As we conclude this chapter, we recognize that the realization of our desires is both an end and a beginning. It marks the completion of one cycle and the inception of another in the endless dance of creation. Embracing and integrating our manifestations is a testament to our co-creative power and a celebration of our partnership with the universe. As we prepare to embark on the next cycle of desires, we do so with a deeper understanding of the art of asking, equipped with the tools and insights to navigate the journey ahead. As we reflect on the journey through the art of asking and manifesting our desires, we recognize that the principles we've explored are not confined to isolated aspects of our lives. Instead, they offer a comprehensive approach to living that can transform our existence in its entirety. This chapter delves into how the art of asking can be applied across all areas of our lives, fostering growth, fulfillment, and a profound connection with the universe. The Universality of the Principles The principles of clarity, belief, gratitude, release, alignment, and the recognition of synchronicities and intuition are universal in their application. Whether we seek to enhance our relationships, advance our careers, improve our health, or deepen our spiritual connection, these principles guide us towards achieving our goals. They teach us to live intentionally, aligning our thoughts, words, and actions with our deepest desires and values, personal growth and self-discovery. At the heart of the art of asking is the journey of personal growth and self-discovery. Each step of manifesting our desires reveals more about who we are, our purpose, and what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. Applying these principles encourages us to continually reflect on our values, beliefs, and the patterns that shape our lives, inviting us to evolve and expand beyond our perceived limitations.
enhancing relationships. The art of asking can profoundly impact our relationships. By applying principles such as clarity and gratitude, we can foster deeper connections with others, expressing our needs and desires honestly while appreciating the unique contributions of those around us. Understanding the principle of release allows us to let go of expectations and attachments, embracing the natural flow of relationships and appreciating them for what they are, advancing careers and pursuing passions. In the context of our careers and passions, the art of asking guides us to set clear intentions, align our actions with our goals, and remain open to opportunities and guidance from the universe. It encourages us to trust our intuition, recognizing the steps and decisions that feel aligned with our path. Gratitude plays a key role here, helping us to see challenges as opportunities for growth and to appreciate the journey as much as the destination. Physical and Emotional Well-Being The principles of the art of asking also extend to our physical and emotional well-being. Living in alignment with our desires promotes a healthier lifestyle, motivating us to care for our bodies and minds in ways that reflect our highest good. Gratitude and positivity contribute to emotional balance, reducing stress, and enhancing our overall sense of well-being. Spiritual Connection Lastly, the art of asking deepens our spiritual connection, regardless of religious or spiritual beliefs. It fosters a sense of unity with the universe, a recognition that we are part of something larger than ourselves. This connection encourages a humble yet empowered approach to life, where asking becomes a dialogue with the cosmos, reflecting our trust and openness to divine guidance. The Ongoing Journey As we apply the art of asking to all aspects of our lives, we realize that the journey is ongoing. There is always more to discover, more desires to manifest, and more growth to experience. Each cycle of asking and receiving is an opportunity to deepen our understanding, expand our consciousness, and live more fully in alignment with our true selves and the universe. In conclusion, the art of asking is more than a method for manifesting desires. It is a way of life. It invites us to live with intention, gratitude, and openness, continually co-creating our reality with the universe. As we close this chapter, we step forward with the knowledge and tools to navigate life's journey, ready to embrace the abundance and miracles that await when we ask with clarity, believe with conviction, and receive with gratitude. The journey through the art of asking is a path of endless exploration and discovery. As we venture into the next chapter of our lives, we do so empowered by the principles that have guided us thus far, eager to apply them in new ways and to continue our evolution as co-creators with the universe. As we journey further into the exploration of the art of asking, a critical realization dawns upon us. The process of manifestation is not merely about obtaining what we desire, but about the evolution of desire itself. This chapter invites us to reflect on how our desires transform over time and how this evolution shapes our journey towards deeper fulfillment and understanding. The Nature of Desire Desire is the seed of all creation. It is the impulse that propels us forward, driving us to seek, explore, and create. However, the nature of desire is such that it is ever-changing evolving as we grow and as our understanding of ourselves and the world around us deepens. Recognizing this fluidity is essential, as it allows us to remain open and adaptable to the shifts in our aspirations. The Maturation of Desires As we traverse the path of life, our experiences shape us, molding our perceptions and our desires. What we once yearned for might no longer hold the same allure, and what was once overlooked may emerge as a profound yearning. This maturation of desires is a natural progression, reflecting our growth in consciousness and our expanding awareness of what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. Aligning with our evolving self One of the most significant challenges we face is staying aligned with our desires as they evolve. This requires a continual process of self-reflection and adjustment, ensuring that our actions, thoughts, and energies are in harmony with our current aspirations. It invites us to let go of outdated dreams gracefully, making space for new desires that resonate with who we are becoming. The Deeper Purpose of Desire 
As we delve deeper into the nature of desire, we begin to recognize that at its core, every desire seeks to bring us closer to our true essence, to the realization of our potential, and the expression of our unique purpose. The evolution of desire, then, is not just about changing wants, but about a deeper journey of self-discovery and alignment with our soul's path. From Desire to Fulfillment the transition from desire to fulfillment is a dynamic process that involves not just the achievement of specific goals, but the cultivation of a state of being. Fulfillment arises when we live in alignment with our deepest values and desires, experiencing the richness of life in each moment. It's about finding contentment in the journey itself, recognizing that fulfillment is not a destination, but a manner of traveling, the infinite cycle of desire and creation. The cycle of desire and creation is infinite. Each fulfilled desire paves the way for new aspirations, propelling us into continued growth and exploration. This cycle is the essence of life's dynamism, a testament to our innate drive to evolve, create, and experience the vastness of existence, embracing the evolution. Embracing the evolution of our desires requires courage, openness, and a willingness to trust the journey. It involves celebrating each manifestation learning from each experience, and remaining curious about the unfolding of our lives. As we embrace this evolution, we become co-creators in the truest sense, actively participating in the shaping of our destiny and the realization of our highest potential. As we conclude this chapter, we stand at the threshold of continued exploration, ready to embrace the evolution of our desires with grace and enthusiasm. The art of asking, then, becomes a lifelong practice, one that guides us towards ever deeper levels of understanding, fulfillment, and connection with the universe. In the chapters that follow, we will explore how to navigate this evolution with wisdom and joy, ensuring that our journey through the art of asking remains vibrant, meaningful, and endlessly enriching. Life is a series of transitions, each marked by a departure from the known and a venture into the unknown. These transitions, whether chosen or unexpected, challenge us stretch our capacities, and invite profound growth. In this chapter, we delve into how the art of asking plays a crucial role in navigating life's transitions, providing us with a compass to guide us through change and towards new horizons of possibility. Embracing Change with Intention At the heart of navigating transitions is the capacity to embrace change with intention. This involves recognizing the inherent opportunity in every transition, even those that initially seem daunting or unwanted. By asking the universe for guidance, clarity, and strength, we set the stage for a journey that is not just about surviving change, but thriving through it. The questions we ask. The questions we pose to the universe during times of transition hold the power to shape our experience of change. Asking, what can I learn from this? Or, how can this change bring me closer to my true self? shifts our perspective from resistance to openness. It encourages us to see transitions as gateways to deeper understanding and new avenues of growth. Realigning with our desires. Transitions often prompt a reevaluation of our desires and goals. What once seemed important may no longer resonate, leading us to ask new questions about what we truly want. This process of realignment is vital as it ensures that our path forward is in harmony with our evolving selves. By asking for what aligns with our current state of being, we navigate transitions with authenticity and purpose. Trusting the process. Trusting the process of transition is perhaps one of the most challenging aspects of navigating change. It requires faith in the unknown and a relinquishing of our need for immediate clarity. By asking the universe to help us trust the journey, we open ourselves to the flow of life allowing the unfolding of events to guide us to our next steps. The Power of Letting Go A crucial aspect of navigating transitions is learning the art of letting go. This involves releasing outdated identities, beliefs, and patterns that no longer serve us. Asking the universe for the courage to let go and for the openness to embrace new possibilities facilitates a smoother passage through transitions making space for the new to enter our lives, seeking support and guidance. No transition is navigated in isolation. Asking for support and guidance 
whether from the universe, our higher selves, or the people around us, is a vital part of the process. It acknowledges our interconnectedness and the strength that comes from community and shared wisdom. The Renewal of Asking As we move through transitions, our ability to ask evolves. We learn to pose deeper, more nuanced questions that reflect our growth and the complexity of our journey. This renewal of asking is a testament to our development, a sign that we are moving closer to our essence with each transition we navigate. Navigating life's transitions with the art of asking transforms our experience of change from one of apprehension to one of anticipation. It empowers us to approach each transition not as an ending but as a beginning a chance to delve deeper into the mystery of our existence and to emerge more aligned with our true path. As we journey through life's inevitable transitions, mastering the art of asking becomes a vital skill. It's not merely about what we ask for, but how we ask that can significantly impact our ability to navigate change. This chapter offers strategies for effective asking, designed to enhance our resilience, foster growth, and ensure that we remain aligned with our core values and desires during times of transition. Crafting Clear Intentions Before asking, it's essential to clarify our intentions. This involves taking the time to reflect on what we truly desire from the transition we are facing. What are the outcomes we hope to achieve? How do these align with our overall life path? Clear intentions act as a beacon, guiding our requests and ensuring they resonate with our deepest values. Asking with Openness Approaching the universe with a sense of openness is crucial. This means being open to the form in which our requests might be fulfilled, understanding that the universe often provides in ways we might not expect. Asking with openness involves letting go of rigid expectations and embracing the possibility that there may be multiple paths to achieving our desired outcome. Embracing vulnerability and asking transitions often expose our vulnerabilities, and it's in these moments that asking can be most powerful. By acknowledging our uncertainties, fears, and hopes, we ask from a place of authenticity. This vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength, creating a deeper connection with the universe and allowing for genuine support and guidance. The timing of our requests. Timing plays a significant role in the art of asking. While some moments require immediate requests for guidance or support, Others may benefit from patience and contemplation. Being mindful of when we ask, ensuring our requests align with the natural flow of our transition, can enhance the effectiveness of our asking. Cultivating Gratitude Integrating gratitude into our asking process transforms our perspective, shifting our focus from lack to abundance. By expressing gratitude for the lessons, opportunities, and growth transitions offer, we create a positive vibrational environment that attracts further blessings and support from the universe. Seeking clarity through reflection. Transitions by their nature can be confusing and disorienting. Taking the time for reflection allows us to seek clarity on what we truly need and desire during these times. Reflective practices such as journaling, meditation, or conversations with trusted confidants can provide insights that inform our asking, ensuring it is rooted in deep self-awareness. Leveraging synchronicities, being attentive to synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences that seem to answer our questions or guide our path, can provide direction during transitions. Acknowledging and acting on these signs requires a proactive approach to asking, where we remain alert to the universe's guidance and ready to follow where it leads. Asking for strength and courage. Finally, transitions often require us to step out of our comfort zones and face the unknown. Asking for strength and courage to embrace these changes, to let go of the past and to step confidently into the future is a powerful request. It acknowledges our human limitations while affirming our willingness to grow and evolve. By employing these strategies for effective asking, we equip ourselves with a versatile toolkit for navigating life's transitions. Each strategy offers a unique way to engage with the art of asking, ensuring that we remain aligned with our purpose, open to the universe's guidance, and resilient in the face of change. As we navigate the intricacies of life's transitions and employ the art of asking, we may encounter periods when answers seem distant and our requests 
appear unanswered. These moments test our faith, patience, and persistence, yet they also hold profound potential for growth and deeper understanding. In this chapter, we explore strategies for sustaining momentum in our spiritual and manifestational practices, ensuring that we remain connected to our path and purpose, even in the face of silence from the universe. Acknowledging the Silence The first step in navigating these challenging periods is to acknowledge the silence without judgment. Recognizing that there are cycles to everything, including our connection with the universe, helps us to maintain perspective. Silence is not a sign of disfavor or abandonment, but rather a natural part of the ebb and flow of our spiritual journey. Cultivating Patience and Trust Patience and trust are our allies during times when answers seem distant. Cultivating these qualities involves reaffirming our faith in the universe's wisdom and timing. It's about trusting that every request is heard and that responses come at the perfect time for our highest good. Patience is not passive waiting, but an active state of anticipation and preparation for the answers and opportunities that will arrive, deepening our connection. Periods of silence offer an opportunity to deepen our spiritual practice and connection to the universe. Engaging in meditation, mindfulness, and reflective practices can enhance our receptivity, allowing us to hear the subtle whispers of the universe that might otherwise be missed. These practices also serve to center and ground us, providing stability amidst uncertainty. Seeking lessons in the silence. There is always a lesson to be learned even when it seems the universe is silent. Asking ourselves what we can learn from this period of waiting can shift our focus from what we believe is lacking to what is being offered. Perhaps the lesson is in developing resilience, finding peace in uncertainty, or discovering the power of surrender. Engaging in gratitude. Maintaining a practice of gratitude can significantly impact our ability to sustain momentum when answers seem distant. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we perceive we are missing to the abundance that is already present in our lives. This shift in perspective can lift our spirits, open our hearts, and keep us aligned with the vibrational frequency of receiving, staying open to different forms of guidance. Sometimes the answers we seek come in forms we did not anticipate. Staying open to receiving guidance in various forms whether through synchronicities, dreams, insights from others, or unexpected opportunities, ensures that we do not miss the universe's responses when they arrive, taking inspired action. Even in the absence of clear answers, taking inspired action towards our goals and desires can help sustain our momentum. Action signals to the universe our commitment to our path and our readiness to receive. It also keeps us engaged and proactive rather than passive observers of our fate reaffirming our desires and intentions. Finally, reaffirming our desires and intentions can help reinvigorate our connection with the universe. Sometimes, revisiting and refining our requests brings new clarity and invigorates our practice. It's an opportunity to ensure that our desires are still in alignment with our evolving selves and to adjust our course if necessary. Navigating periods when answers seem distant challenges us to deepen our faith expand our understanding, and cultivate resilience. These moments are integral to our spiritual growth, offering invaluable lessons about trust, patience, and the nature of our relationship with the universe. In our individual journeys through the art of asking, we are not solitary wanderers but part of a vast interconnected tapestry of consciousness. Each act of asking, each intention set, and each desire manifested contributes not only to our personal evolution, but also to the collective evolution of humanity. This chapter delves into the concept of co-creation from a broader perspective, exploring how our personal practices of manifestation are intertwined with the collective destiny, and how together we can shape a more harmonious and interconnected world. The interconnectedness of all life. At the heart of the concept of co-creation lies the understanding that all life is interconnected. Our thoughts, Actions and energies do not exist in a vacuum but ripple out, influencing the world around us. This interconnectedness suggests that our individual efforts to manifest our desires are part of a larger collective process of creation where each contribution affects the whole. 
The Role of Individual Transformation in Collective Evolution Individual transformation is the catalyst for collective evolution. As we each work on manifesting our desires, aligning with our highest selves, and living in accordance with universal principles, we contribute to a shift in the collective consciousness. This shift is toward greater awareness, compassion, and unity. Our personal growth stories become part of the collective narrative of human evolution, inspiring and catalyzing change in others. The Power of Shared Intentions When individuals come together with shared intentions, the potential for manifestation amplifies exponentially. Group meditations, collective prayers, and community-focused intentions are examples of how collective energy can be harnessed for greater impact. These shared practices not only strengthen the bonds within communities, but also project a powerful vibrational force into the universe, capable of affecting significant change, manifesting for the greater good. As we become more adept in the art of asking, our desires often evolve to encompass not just personal fulfillment, but the well-being of others and the planet. Manifesting for the greater good involves setting intentions that benefit the community, the environment, and humanity as a whole. This shift reflects a maturation of consciousness, where the realization of our interconnectedness leads to a more altruistic and compassionate approach to manifestation. The Role of Empathy and Compassion Empathy and compassion are essential qualities in the collective aspect of co-creation. They motivate us to consider the impact of our desires and manifestations on others, and to act in ways that promote harmony and understanding. By fostering these qualities, we contribute to a collective energy field that supports healing, cooperation, and mutual respect. Navigating Collective Challenges The principle of co-creation also applies to how we navigate collective challenges. By coming together with a shared vision of healing, peace, or resolution, and by collectively asking for guidance and support, we can address global issues more effectively. This collaborative approach to manifestation demonstrates the power of unity in creating positive change. Visioning a Shared Future Co-creation invites us to participate in visioning a shared future, one that reflects our highest aspirations for humanity. Through the art of asking, we can collectively envision and manifest a world characterized by peace, sustainability, and flourishing for all beings. This visioning process is a dynamic form of co-creation, where the act of imagining a better world is the first step towards making it a reality. As we recognize our role in the collective process of co-creation, we are called to act with greater intention, compassion, and awareness of the interconnectedness of all life. Our individual journeys of asking and manifesting are integral to the tapestry of collective evolution each thread contributing to the creation of a more harmonious and enlightened world. As we arrive at the conclusion of our exploration into the art of asking, we stand at a vantage point that offers both a moment for reflection and a vista of infinite possibilities ahead. This journey has taken us through the nuances of asking the universe for what we desire, understanding the principles that underlie effective manifestation, and recognizing our interconnected roles in the collective evolution of consciousness. In this final chapter, we synthesize the essence of what we've learned and contemplate the ways in which we can carry these insights forward, both in our personal lives and as contributors to the global tapestry of life. The Essence of the Journey The art of asking is much more than a technique for personal gain. It is a spiritual practice that deepens our connection with the universe and with the essence of who we are. It has taught us the importance of clarity, belief, gratitude, release, alignment, and the power of navigating life's transitions with grace. Each principle, a thread in the fabric of our existence, weaves a pattern of profound growth and understanding, embracing our co-creative power. Recognizing our co-creative power is perhaps the most transformative aspect of this journey. We've learned that we are not mere spectators in the dance of creation, but active participants, endowed with the ability to shape our reality in partnership with the universe. This realization empowers us to approach life with a sense of purpose and responsibility, aware of the impact our thoughts, feelings, and actions have on the collective consciousness. Moving forward with intention. 
As we move forward, the challenge lies in integrating these principles into our daily lives, making the art of asking a living practice. This involves setting intentions that not only serve our personal growth, but also contribute to the well-being of our communities and the planet. It means staying aligned with our highest selves, even amidst the noise and distractions of the world, and finding moments of stillness to reconnect with our co-creative power. Continuing the journey of growth. Our journey through the art of asking does not end with the closing of this chapter. It is an ongoing process of exploration, learning, and transformation. As we grow and evolve, our desires, understandings, and the ways in which we interact with the universe will also evolve. Embracing this journey as a dynamic and unfolding path keeps us open to new insights, challenges, and opportunities for growth. Contributing to the collective evolution. Armed with the knowledge and experiences gained, we are called to contribute to the collective evolution of humanity. This can take many forms, from the ways we interact with others, to the projects we undertake, to the visions we hold for a better world. Each act of kindness, each intention for peace, each step towards sustainability is a co-creative act that adds to the momentum of collective progress. The ripple effect of our journey. The ripple effect of our journey through the art of asking extends far beyond our immediate awareness. Each shift in our consciousness, each manifestation realized, each act of gratitude sends out ripples that touch the lives of others, often in ways we may never fully comprehend. By living our truths and embracing our co-creative power, we contribute to a wave of transformation that can ultimately reshape the world. A future of limitless potential. Looking forward, we stand on the threshold of a future filled with limitless potential. The principles of the art of asking, woven into the fabric of our daily lives, empower us to manifest not only our personal dreams, but also to contribute to the manifestation of a global vision marked by harmony, understanding, and shared prosperity. As we close this chapter, we do so with a sense of gratitude for the journey and anticipation for the path ahead. Armed with the insights and tools we have gathered, we step forward into the world as co-creators, ready to manifest our highest potential and contribute to the collective unfolding of humanity's greatest aspirations. The art of asking, refined and practiced, becomes a beacon of light guiding us toward a future we create together, in partnership with the universe, in the dance of creation that knows no end.